September is Suicide Prevention Month. It's a time to raise awareness about mental health issues. KTEX's reporter Brenna Gibbons sat down with an Abilene man who's dealt with those issues firsthand. Mental health and mental wellness uh, is something that um, for most of my life I've kind of dealt with. Um, I was diagnosed pretty early on in my teenage years with clinical depression um, and was medicated for that. And then whenever I got out on my own, I kind of like stepped away from from medication and going to therapy and things like that. In 2021, I had uh, a series of mental health crises. Um, I was a teacher. Uh, everything was good, beautiful family. Uh, but there was just a part of me that went to a really dark place and couldn't emerge from that. On a Wednesday night in April 2021, Timothy Palmer was spending time with his friends when he had the realization that he needed help. I just said to them, you know, I don't think I'm ever going to be happy. And uh, they said it's time to get some help. Since then, Palmer has worked to get the help he needs. He also went through electrocompulsive therapy, which he says saved his life. But what started as one hospitalization turned into four hospitalizations. And since 2021, um, uh, I've really focused in on not only like working through my own mental health issues, but also advocating for awareness, breaking the stigmas that are attached with depression and um, mood disorders specifically. So this is my friend Cannon. She's one of my best friends uh, and she's an artist. Palmer says it is important to talk with family and friends about your issues when facing depression. When he was in the hospitals, his loved ones sent him notes to help him not feel so alone. Like nobody really understood me. Like these things like kept, I mean, they really, I mean, I, I would say like they kept, they kept me alive, you know? Now Palmer speaks up about mental health to help other people not feel isolated. There's a couple of things that I would say to them. Number one, you've survived 100% of your worst days. You survived 100% of your worst days, right? Number two, that um, even after everything you've experienced, you're still here. And number three, the party wouldn't be the same without you. So like, we really need you to stick around. Um, I would encourage them to meet with um, a therapist regularly. And I would also, if they're in a crisis point, you have to go to the hospital and you have to say, look, I'm not safe to myself, you know, especially if you're dealing with like suicidal ideations and things like that. Um, go to a hospital and they're equipped to like give you the resources that you need. If you're struggling with depression or your mental health, contact the Suicide and Crisis Lifeline by calling or texting 988. In Abilene, I'm Brenna Gibbons, KTexas News.